Andrew Marr Show with Eddie Mayer and guest Kate and Jerry McCann next. In May 2007, a trip to the sun turned an anonymous British family into people who were nationally and internationally known. Kate and Jerry McCann's eldest daughter, Madeline, went missing in Portugal. Initial media support turned into suspicion. The McCann's privacy was sections of the press who stopped at nothing to write something, anything, about when the couple. When attended the Leveson inquiry, the McCann's were clear on why they had decided to take part. Be put in a place to protect ordinary people from the damage that the media can cause. When it's your voice against the powerful media, you know, it, it just, just doesn't have a way to... You know, we're desperately shouting out internally, please stop what you're doing. I mean, we're trying to find our daughter and you were stopping our chances. Among the worst offenders by the Express yes. Group, McCann's were shown some of their stories. Of disgusting. And I think this same journalist, if memory serves right, also said we stored her body. The News of the World got hold of a copy of Kate McCann's private diary and published it without telling her. It was my only way of communicating with Madeline. For me, you know, there was absolutely no respect shown for me as a grieving mother. Or a By human. taking part in Leveson, the McCanns hoped that their testimony would help bring about a change in the law, a new press regulator with legal backing. Kate and Jerry McCann, you heard uh, John Witherow uh, just now, editor of the Times, former editor of the Sunday Times, saying that from all his private discussions, it seems like uh, the political parties are coalescing around this royal charter idea. If that's what we end up with, was well, going to Leveson a waste of your time? I think it certainly won't be what we were hoping to achieve, and very much disagree with John that uh, that this is what Leveson is tough. I think Leveson has actually been quite generous to the press and um, more than the behaviour or certain sections of the, the media deserve really. Um, they're getting a last chance at self-regulation, uh, which for me was actually a step too far. Can you explain from your point of view, what's the, the practical difference between what Leveson wanted and what is now, what seems to be the compromise? What difference does that make? I've got three concerns at the minute. The first is the transparency. The inquiry was open. You could see what was going on. Levson's reviewed all the evidence. Uh, and what's happened in the last two and a half months is exactly what you've talked about, where we're having a number of private meetings. The minutes are not published. The discussions are not published. And then that leads to serious concerns about independence of what is being proposed. Because a major part of Levson was acknowledging that the press had got too close to politicians. And the third concern for us and what is being proposed is that we're going to end up with uh, sub Levson recommendations, really, um, particularly around independence, uh, both of the, the board who are going to oversee it and the fact that there should be complete independence of the appointments of that board. I'm struck by something uh, you are quoted as saying. Uh, Jerry, the Leveson package, including legal underpinning, is the minimum acceptable compromise for us. I just wonder if it was up to you, if they gave you the power to draft something, the future of the press, what would you do? To be honest, uh, I've already said this to you, that uh, I feel that the, the press has lost its entitlement to self-regulation over many, many years, and I would have liked to have seen actually statutory regulation and not self-regulation. But I get the impression, if it was up to you, you'd, you'd go much further. Well, and absolutely. People, people I mean, might not blame you. What would you do? Well, no, I would, I would make it uh, very much that they weren't, it wasn't self-regulated. There would be independent regulation. I think when we saw the uh, Leveson recommendations, we probably thought for us it was probably a 7 out of 10. And obviously it's been a painstaking process, and I think Lord Leveson has come up with something that's very balanced and he's trying to be as fair as possible to every party involved but actually I think what the government are proposing with this charter which I have to say charter body is overseen by ministers for a start which again takes away the independence um, it, it's basically a compromise of a compromise yeah. and why why do the press why do the government want, not want to be accountable like everybody else I mean the press are the first to hold people in authority to account have you noticed any improvement in the press since Leveson it's, it's very difficult to say that because you only know uh, about your own individual circumstances. Well, even there, I mean, is, is um, things been better? Obviously, the situation for us, we still have uh, episodes where things are published which we would much prefer weren't published, 
Um, there's been a recent headline front page of a Sunday newspaper about a potential lead in Madeline's case and it hadn't been fully explored and it's something that we raised at Levson that Madeline and her safety is often treated with complete contempt and we have no redress currently and I would have concerns that if the editors get what they want, which is how complaints are dealt with, it would only be certain complaints and they could decide which ones would come in. One of the things that we are very, very concerned with and is about accuracy and standards and consideration for the public. We want the regulator to be able to protect the interests of the public. And the recent story about Madeline that you were unhappy with, did you, did you try and speak to the, the paper concerned? Yeah, I, I wrote to the editor of the newspaper and explained my concerns and I have to say I got a reply back which made my blood boil. It was basically telling me that he, they knew what was best for Madeline, that they knew best what was for missing children. So despite what we as parents thought, despite what the Metropolitan Police thought, they knew what was best. And that is really concerning. post Leveston inquiry, that this is the kind of response we're getting. I believe if the Royal Charter goes through, we'll be no better off. And this is one opportunity now, which might not come again. And I think the general public deserve to know what's happening, because as Jerry said, there's been a total lack of transparency. And what the government is proposing is not what Leveston has proposed. Do you have much hope that the change you want will come in? I, I mean, I've not given up hope. I think the first thing is to say I think the vast majority of MPs actually are fully supportive of Levson. And I've mentioned this before, but if uh, our parliamentarians want to redeem themselves in the public light, they know that the right thing is to implement Levson in full. Not a compromise, not a SOP to the editors. Right. Kate and Jeremy McCann, thank you both. Thank you.